hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you all had a lovely day and for today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make your own hair leave-in treatment and kindly do subscribe and watch the whole full video thank you So my friends, for this remedy, we're going to be using nothing other than the regular cloves. Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add up to the growth and strength of your hair. It can also be used in protecting the scalp from dandruff and it also contains anti-inflammatory agents which further helps in hair thickening. So other than cloves, we're going to be using flax seeds for this remedy and from the flax seeds, we can actually extract gel from it. The gel helps hair grow faster and longer by providing nourishment to the hair follicles. And also it contains vitamin E and the vitamin E in flaxseed provides nutrition to the scalp and reduces free radical damage which is why it's necessary to use it in this remedy. So let's begin in making it. So we're going to have a warm boiling water and I've measured about 2 liters of water and I'm going to add in about 2 and a half tablespoons of cloves in there. So I'll just proceed by stirring it a bit and covering it up to let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and the cloves are perfectly boiled and I'm going to add about 2.5 tablespoons of flax seeds. Flax seeds, in adding flax seeds, I would recommend just adding little, you know, a little goes a long way. The more the flax seeds you put, the more the consistency of the remedy gets, you know, it gets very thick and jelly like so i highly recommend keeping a little saving some for the future as well and you know a little goes a long way exactly so we'll proceed with the boiling we're going to be doing this process for about you know 20 minutes so as to get the jelly like texture from the flax seeds We're just going to keep stirring clockwise and anti-clockwise, you know, opposite directions and all. This actually helps preventing the flax seeds from sticking from the pot, you know. That's why I highly recommend stirring after every, let's say, two minutes. You stir, cover up, two minutes again, stir and cover up, like that you get. So it's now been about 10 minutes and I'm going to be using my sample spoon. And what do I mean by my sample spoon, you know? I just take a little and keep it on the side. Let it cool for a bit because the flaxseed gets really jelly when it cools down. So I'm just going to be doing this till I see it's at the right texture that I need. It's now been 20 minutes and I have actually lowered the heat. We are almost done with the boiling process. So I'll have my sample spoon on the side and wait till it cools down to see if it's perfectly thick into the consistency that I need.
and there as you can see the thick consistency i was telling you about and it's still warm imagine when it cools down like what <laughs> y'all ain't ready for this living hair treatment i mean ooh. So it's now time for the sieving process and my piece of advice when it comes to sieving this flaxseed remedy is only sieve when it's hot boiling, like literally hot boiling. It's very easy to do this because when you boil the flaxseed, it, gets, it turns into a very light, you know, jelly-like texture. Unlike when it cools down, now it, it turns into the thick jelly consistency. So I would highly recommend that when it comes to sieving your flaxseed gel. And that's that. Once I'm done, um, for the residue, I don't like throwing this away. I feel like, no, I'm wasting money. <laughs> so stay tuned for a video coming soon on I'll show you how to prepare your own hair conditioner using the residue you're left with. So yeah, stay tuned for that, my loves. Mm. Well, I am probably talking too much in this video, but hey, I'm doing this for you guys. It's necessary, so... I'll just let it cool down for a bit and <clears throat> I'll transfer it into a jar. As I said, again, when flaxseed cools down, it turns very jelly-like. So I just want to give it time to cool down. And from here, it's perfectly cool. And I'll transfer it into my jar and store it in the fridge. Yes. So this is the end results of my flaxseed remedy and this is how it looks like and this is the consistency as I said a little goes a long way. I didn't want a very thick texture and all so this is good for me in smoothening my hair and you can actually use this as your live-in treatment. Just apply it and there's no need to wash your hair. You can literally stay in your hair because of the clothes. That's why I highly recommend using this remedy to have nice thick and fast growing hair my loves so yeah that's that and i'll see you in my next coming videos please consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification down below so that you're notified every time i upload a video goodbye my loves see you in my next coming video and take care